in Frederick Douglass's My Bondage, My Freedom, um, he, it's the fourth of his autobiographies, and he elaborates upon a story that he tells in his first autobiography, The Life of Frederick Douglass. And it's uh, where he meets up with um, Sandy, who he knows from the region as uh, an African conjurer. Uh, Sandy is also a slave. Um, he is uh, also a slave who has been sent to the region of the Eastern Shore to be broken. Um, but he is known in the slave community for not giving up the customs and traditions of Africa. And Douglas is a Christian. Um, and the scene is, uh, or, the, or the, the setting is, that Douglas has just run away from Covey uh, after being beaten by Covey. And um, he is fearful of who he hears walking in the woods, and it turns out to be Sandy. And he goes home with Sandy, and he is talking with Sandy about his problem, about, I don't want to be beat anymore. <laughs> I don't want to be put in this situation. And Sandy offers him a root a, uh, as a talisman. He offers him some herbs from the woods. And it's a real symbol to Douglas of, of the traditional African customs of something from the earth gives you power. And Sandy encourages Douglas to put it in his pocket and, and assures him that when he goes back uh, to Covey that Covey won't beat him, or if he does, he will have the power to overcome Covey. Uh, and it works. Uh, or <clears throat> at least Douglas questions uh, if it works, because when he does go back, Covey is not successful in his second attempt to beat Douglas, and Douglas really struggles then with uh, the confrontation of something African, traditional, tribal, uh, over uh, prevailed over his traditional, his accepted views of Christianity, uh, and and that's a real personal conflict for him. Well, in his first autobiography, The Life of Frederick Douglass, which is probably the most commonly read, it, it's barely mentioned in passing. It's barely mentioned. Uh, he, he doesn't go into any kind of details about his own personal struggles with the talisman, about how the fact that he had it in his pocket challenges his own Christian beliefs. So he's thinking a little bit more uh, later in life about who Sandy was, what Sandy represented on the Eastern Shore, how dramatically uh, unique Sandy was from all the other slaves that Douglas encountered. Um, Douglas was almost surprised later in life at the extent to which uh, there could be one person who was still so African.